Okay, y'all, we're back. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. We've uh, moved our tent so that we're shading the bees. Ha ha. Uh -huh. We're shading ourselves too still. More of us than the bees. And we uh, we did turn the air conditioner on that I was telling you about. So, <laughs> all's well. We're going to proceed with combining a weak colony with a strong colony. So, um, show them what we put, took out of that. About 44, 45 days ago, um, we had treated for varroa mites. We had done a test in this bee yard and we um, had uh, some right at that threshold mite loads that we wanted to make sure that we took care of. So we treated with Apivar and it's time to pull those off. Yes, it is. The Apivar strips are ideal for hot weather. They have corrected our problems. We retested. The colony varroa mite populations are under control. On both. So we're ready to proceed. That's right. We, uh, you might notice that we've been disrupting these bees a little bit over the last few minutes, but the uh, entrance or the traffic at the entrance on the white box, the stronger colony, has been really strong, even here in the heat of the day. Possibly it's because we have a cover of them now. Right. But the other colony has very few bees coming and going. Yeah. You will see there are some on the side, but that's some that we've just kind of been sloughing around as we've been playing that's with these right. bees. So, so uh, it's evident to us that, that the decisions we've made up to now are correct. All good. And we even found more reinforcements in the colony this week. You that's want to tell right. them about the queen yeah, cells? Yeah, we found a couple of queen cells in there. And um, so I just went ahead and I made those gone. I verified that there wasn't larvae in and there wasn't. They were long since gone, um, which is what we knew when we got here that that's what was going to end up happening. It just wasn't, uh, they weren't doing well. Been therefore, having been, therefore so. there was no queen pheromone right. uh, present up in that top box, which is going to be our top box, to prevent these two from joining properly. While I'm still holding this, yeah. dispose of properly. We don't mm. throw it out in the field for That's cattle right. or for wildlife That's right. to get a hold of. So we will throw it away, take it back with us That's as right. we leave. So if this colony would have had a queen and that colony would have had a queen, we know this is a better colony. We're going to get rid of this queen. We don't want to start, if we can help it, from adding another queen with this one when we do the newspaper method they would probably duke it out and the better queen would win. But what if, let's just say what if accidentally it was this queen that survived. It's quite we really want this happen. one too. So let we have, we know that this one's queenless, but if you um, have a queen that's just failing or aged out, then get rid of her, make her gone, and then you can add it up. And so what we're gonna do now, our steps are, we're gonna open this, we're gonna feed. I'm gonna give it a little bit more sugar water. I already gave it a little bit. Give it a little more sugar water. We're going to add a pollen patty because we want them to be well fed going into this joining of families or somewhat families. And then we're going to add this piece of newspaper in between the two boxes and close it back up. I think so it would be good for a teaching standpoint to begin by smoking the entrance of both boxes. Yeah, we did. And it. then when we remove the outer cover from the weak box, we're going to go ahead and pull frame four and show you where Cherry popped those queen cells, just so you can see where their existence was. And then we'll briefly review what we're seeing there. Okay. Can you pry that apart for me? Yeah, I'll let you do that while I, don't I have feed. Tool. Okay. You don't, I took your hive tool? I guess. There you can go. never have too many hive tools. Isn't that the true thing? We have seven between the two of us. Yeah. And that's never enough. All right, so you show them that, that queen cell while I... Okay, here's a frame out of the colony that we're going to combine with the better colony. It'll be a little difficult to see, but this co this side of this frame used to be a brood frame, and it was quite a healthy one too. This side and the far side, especially on this, you can see it. You can see the honey in the corners. You can see where we had developing brood down in the core and the ball in the center, and now there's nothing there except nectar. When we go to the other side, here are the queen cells that Sherry cut out. This one which had nothing in it, and this one. That was just a last ditch effort by this colony to try to survive. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and reinstall it. It's proof to us that we uh, are doing the correct thing and we'll move forward. That's right. All right, so I've got our pollen patty here. Uh, this is the time of year we use pollen patties and not dry pollen. We want this to go straight to the bees, straight to their guts and get them really as healthy as possible. And I'm gonna lay this patty directly on top of the brood nest, right in the center. In inspecting the uh, outer cover when we took it off, uh, there, was pre there, was zero there were zero small hive beetles in either one of these two colonies. That being the case, we're comfortable, uh, in our opinion, of putting a full patty on top of this box, on top of the brood nest, on the bottom box. 
not on the top box because there's no brood up there. So we want it on top where the brood are. If we were uh, in Conroe, where our place is, where our bees are, uh, we would use much smaller strips of it, uh, strips that our bees would consume within two, three, four days. That's right. So that we would not have a high beetle high infestation. Beetle problem, because that can happen before you know it. Yeah, larvae are created from an egg mm -hmm. in two and a half days on a small high beetle. So if this were at home, uh, we'd have trouble in the first week. Mm -hmm. So Sherry's going to take and put the newspaper on top. Regular old newspaper. Not the shiny kind, y'all. Not the, not the shiny. We're not concerned that this box is going to be sitting on top of the pollen because they'll just kind of press down if necessary. Absolutely. It won't hurt a thing. So now we're going to combine the two. You ready? Excuse me for stepping in front. There we are. That looks good. Our newspaper's in place. Okay, can we see? Yeah. And don't worry about this hanging over the side. You can tear it off if you want. Uh, but you don't have to. It's uh, it's not necessary. It rots and blows away. It's not a, or rots and goes away, not blows away. So all that looks really good. And literally within just a few days, they will have this newspaper gone. And uh, and I will tell you that pollen patty is going to give them even more of a reason to go chew through, right? And it's not they, these bees are going to get along. I'm telling you, they're not going to worry that they have been different families because this one has virtually just uh, foragers that are kind of kind of lackadaisical not knowing what's going on so this is going to work and it's going to work good all right where's our lid right behind you or you want to use this one that one's fine you may have noticed that my smoker was tipped over that's a fire hazard and it also puts your smoker right if you don't catch it fairly right. quickly so i didn't notice it in time well you're going to have to hold your tongue to this well let's use this one all right well, what ends up happening out here, especially out in the pasture, is these lids absorb moisture and uh, they get hard to put on, just normal. You've probably got a telescopic cover. But anyway, that's it, y'all. That is, that is the process. We just added uh, a completely weak colony to one that was okay, in good shape, and we're gonna count well, on that. Well, and speaking of counting, we went from two colonies to one colony. We did. But the beauty of that is now this colony is going to overwinter well and come spring during split time, we will separate this even if we just do a simple walk away split. And then we're back to two colonies instead of only having one because a weak one most likely would not have overwintered. That's right. That's right. Gonna wrap it up? I think so. Thanks, y'all. I hope you learned something. Easy peasy. Bye. <laughs> Bye.